I know it's been a long time. I've already recorded this video twice and I've made stupid mistakes that cause everything to fuck up. Cause this camera, I need, I should have like three people on it. So I'm gonna get to things real quick. I have your questions right here and I will get to those in a bit. I'm back, back. Look guys, I made six videos. They were great, epic, something like that. Six to 10 videos. I'm glad you liked them. I appreciate you giving me words of encouragement. Everyone's been super awesome. People reaching out to me on Twitter at Son of a Mitch Show. Excellent, great, thank you. I never felt like I left because I didn't ever do what I wanted to do. And now I'm gonna do what I wanted to do. Let me explain some stuff first. I gotta put some questions to rest. I'm gonna update you on what's going on, what's gonna be happening. 2021 is gonna be the year of the Mitch. 10 billion subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, let me go through it. So first off, I get asked this probably every week, maybe every other day. What happened to Top 10 Trends? Is Top 10 Trends coming back? Why didn't you go back to Top 10 Trends? Did you know they're doing stuff on Top 10 Trends again? Yes, I know they're doing stuff on Top 10 Trends again. No, I have no involvement with the channel. They don't want me back because I'm, you know, I'm a firebrand because I, I cause controversy and shit. They don't want me back. Um, they, at least they haven't reached out to me. Maybe they do, but they, they can't afford me. I don't know. What happened to Top 10 Trends? Well, it stopped making money. Um, I had no say in anything that happened with the channel. I owned 0% of it. I hated Top 10 Trends near the end of it. It was the most boring thing on earth. My money got cut by 10 times in like 2018 when YouTube finally realized that I was swearing and, and edgy and funny. They just, finally, they just cut our money. It wasn't profitable anymore. And the channel got canceled. And I think it got sold. I don't know. Um, I got my exit check and I left. And that's it. And to be frank, while I'm sad it ended the way it did, we made it to a million fucking subscribers and I was tired. I was tired of it. I was tired of making crappy videos because I know a lot of them were shitty near the end. I was tired of the constant workflow, making one or two videos a day. And then we had to bring in editors and that was great, but then I had to manage the editors and then I had to manage the, the researcher who would research stuff and it was fucking wrong all the time anyway. So it was too much for what I was being paid anyway. It got cut because it wasn't making Matt money or it wasn't making money, period. I don't know, I don't know how it works. It got sold. I think he's back doing it now. I don't care. Good for him. I don't wanna do it anyway. If they can pay me my rate, sure, yeah, I'll do it. It's freelance work. But I have no connection to that channel anymore. And you should understand that people saying, oh, just do it yourself, do it on your channel. It wouldn't make a dime. It would make no money. Even if I did it all myself and went back to that grind, that horrible grind, I was sleeping four to six hours a night max, no social life, just making those videos sometimes, most of, especially during the beginning. No, I don't wanna do that again for some ha ha he he funny word jokes. It, it, it was, the whole point of the channel was to be a caustic, anti-person, anti-social personality disorder narrator who was something you never heard before. Someone who would shock you, someone who would say things that weren't said, someone who would talk about things that weren't talked about. And we did that. And the first year was like, great. We gained like 800,000 subscribers in a year and a half. And by the time we hit 800,000, 750,000, the channel had totally changed. Every video that I was fun to make was completely demonetized. We weren't making any money off of the original concept of the channel, which was anti-humor and anti-comedy and all this stuff. And yeah, the stuff that did well is stupid shit, like top 10 villains that Thanos can be. Like that's my all time biggest video. It has, I don't remember how many, like 10, 20 million views, and it's just crap. And that's what was doing well then. And I didn't want to do it anymore, and then it died. And that video didn't even make that much money. It made good money. That one in particular made good money. A lot of them, some of them that got millions of views, oh, nothing, pennies. Like you can see, it's just making money, making money, making money, making money, and then YouTube would catch it and it goes literally to zero. Like, oh, this video's made $100. Tomorrow it'll make 200, because that's how fast it goes up, right? It's like 10, 50, 100, 200, 400, and then at 150, it goes poof, into the fucking ground. No money, and it never makes money again. So, top 10 trends can't exist, and it shouldn't exist. I'm glad if you enjoyed it, it's, it's gone. Someone else can have it. If they can make it work, bring me on as a guest. Whatever. If they, I don't want to do it myself. It's not that fun. It's not that cool. 
it's not what I'm about. It, it was it was fun for a while. It was fun to stick it in YouTube's eye and to stick it to huge people and to call people out and to make fun of shit and to say mean words and shake things up a bit and it's gone now. I'm moving on. Top 10 Trends is dead. Not my choice. Maybe man can revitalize its corpse. Go ahead. I won't be a part of it. I've never been contacted. Two, what have I been doing this whole time? The camera I'm talking into has a lens that costs more than your car. Okay? That's how long it, it, it's gonna take me to save up money like that because I'm not famous or anything. I'm never gonna make ad revenue, not with, the, not with the type of stuff I do, but I'm not making buku money on anything like that. This is all hard work and scrimping. I have like old clothes and shit and I took like the down payment I could have used for a house or, or anything else and I spent it back in my company, which then failed or is struggling, I should say, we're not dead, but struggling because of coronavirus in 2020. So then I had to spend all 2020 repairing that. So 2020 was spent repairing 2019. 2019 was spent catching up and getting rid of the damage from 2018. What happened to 2018? Well, I moved and started the, the, the skeleton of the company that I would find found because I had a promise from someone that they were gonna take care of half the work and go all in with me and do a lot of shit and do art and do all this stuff and help fund it and that never happened. About six months into 2018, when I moved everything at, about at the, the end of 2017, I moved, I bought a bunch of camera stuff, I got everything set up, I funded a bunch of stuff and then I realized I was fucked because this other person was not gonna do anything. They were just talking out their ass the entire time. And I was stupid enough to take them at face value, even though they were my they were, they were my good friends at the time. I just believed what they said without thinking about how, oh, I'm what I do, my work ethic being being like pretty high is not normal. And it was all bullshit. So I got totally fucked in 2018, then top 10 trends died, then I had to get a job to recover, then my I got fucked on my business, and then I've been recovering from that. So, don't, there have been times where I have wanted to make videos or I have had the time to make videos. I'm not gonna pretend like I've just been working my ass off all the time. I do get to relax sometimes. I do get to take it easy sometimes. I'm not just in hell. It was close, but I'm not just in hell. Top 10 Trends kind of burnt me out on making content because I was making two things a day, like minimum, for about two years. My job was very creative heavy. I was designing content for large companies, for advertising and shit, and it's just like soul crushing. The people I work with were right, actually. It wasn't an ad agency. The people at the companies I worked with were excellent. They were very kind to me. They under, you know, they, they dealt with all my bullshit. But I just, it's not, sitting at a desk is hard for me. It's, it's not easy for me. Front loading creative work, being in charge of an entire like corporate marketing strategy, video, social media, uh, community outreach, internet outreach, just, it was hard. And after that, I finally, when I finally lost that job because of coronavirus and, some, and, and you know, the work drying up because of that in June of 26, 2020, in June of 2020, I, I decided, you know what? I have some savings. I'm gonna set up this third thing that I'm gonna talk about in a second to hopefully make some money while I do what I've always wanted to do, which is create videos for you guys, create short films, make comedy, make animation, do mixed media, and that's where we're at now. And that's why I'm trying to get this out today because 2021 is going to be a different year. It's year of the Mitch. The third thing I wanna talk about is that over the last two years, I have set up two companies. Two, two company websites, I have no experience coding, they suck, but I had to do it myself. I have learned tax structure, shipping structure, pipeline structure, marketing structure. I had to learn all this shit to set this up. I only wanted to do it with one business, but then 2020 happened and I had to completely restructure stuff and set up a second one to make sure that I can survive until stuff passes over. So, I've been busy. I, you know, I hope that I hope that's a excuse for you guys. I should have done more. I wasn't ready. I'm sorry I wasn't ready to do more. I didn't feel my stuff was good enough. Um, I I hated just looking at myself in the camera because every time I did, I felt like a a moron, like an, a jackass because it never met my expectations. 
and I have a very engineering mindset where if it doesn't come out perfect every time, don't do it. You know, when you're an engineer and you build a bridge, you can't fuck up the bridge. It, you can't try and error the bridge. It has to work when it's done, right? That's the exact opposite of creating videos. I, you know, I, I, I knew that, but it's hard in practice. It's harder in practice. Making videos, you make shit for a long time. And I was just fortunate enough to find people who would pay me to make my shit for the longest time, the consequence of which is it's not on my channel. So hopefully now I'm moving out of the shit stage into, I mean, I hope so. I had a million, you know, I helped get a million subscribers at one point, but I hope I'm moving out of the shit stage into the, what I truly want to do stage with artistry. And I plan on releasing 52 videos over the course of the year, minimum one a week, trying to shoot for professional short film quality, $10,000 budget minimums. That includes equipment. I'm not spending $10,000 on each of these videos. I don't have that kind of money. Or I don't have anything near that. I'm so close to broke, like so close to broke, but what I'm trying to say is I finally feel like I'm ready. I want to give back to you guys. I want to, I, I appreciate everyone who's sticking around. I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of unsubs from this where people realize, oh yeah, I'm still following this fat fuck and that's fine. If you're pissed off at me, that's fine. Fuck you. Don't email me about it. If you still want to see my stuff, that's great. Fuck you. Don't email me about it. Um, I will not do top 10 trends again. Stop sending me emails about that. That's what I've been doing. That second business is called Digital Grifter. It's an online storefront that sells t-shirts and merchandise designed to help artists through these fucking ridiculously difficult times. I have seen more of my friends struggle so much harder than I have because I am lucky. I was fortunate that I could put aside all my savings for doing something like this. I spent the money on a full screen printing and printle shop a whole, a real fucking business so that I can help some of my friends and hopefully produce some of my own merchandise so we can all make money together. And I plan on talking more about that as, as things get unveiled. I don't want to chew your fucking ear off about it because I don't want to be pushy, but I want to help people. All these fucking t-shirt merch companies like Big Cartel and, 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 and Redbubble, they all say buy for artists, for artists. Uh, there's one where you upvote stuff and based on what you vote, like they, they print stuff. It's all bullshit. They, they, artists are making like less than 20% of the profit on those shirts, usually closer to like 10 to 5%. If you're making $5 on a shirt that costs you $30 to sell, you're only making like 16% of the profit, 20, no, not even, yeah, 16% of the profit. I offer at a $20 price point, I wanna art, offer artists $7, which is 80% of the profit up front, because t-shirts cost about $10 to print when they're really, really good quality. Um, it fluctuates, obviously. You don't care, that's what I've been doing. I set up two whole companies, guys. Give me a fucking break, okay? Because I'm trying to fucking survive out here and not have to go back to a nine to five where I can't make anything for you, where I can't make anything for myself, more so. So, in like August of 2017 or whatever, I asked you guys, I gave, I put out a questionnaire and I said I would answer any of the questions on it and I wanna keep that promise. I did not forget about it, so here we go. I'm gonna read all of them. I might give you an answer depending on how retarded this is, but I'll try. Do you a big shit? This is why I said I'll try. Are you, if you are son of a Mitch, then is your dad Mitch? No, he's not. Don't look him up. Who are your top three worst? I, you know, you, you're my top worst kind of person on the internet. You're fucking, you think you're fucking funny? Uh, I called myself son of a Mitch because throughout my entire life, everyone says, Mitch, you mean bitch? And it's the worst joke. It's like, it's fucking two digit IQ retards toss that joke at me every day. Like I haven't heard it a million fucking times since the moment I crawled out of my mother's fucking womb. So son of a Mitch cuts you to that punch. It implies comedy and aggression, which is what I do best. And that's it. I didn't even come up with it. But my friend Alex said, you should call yourself son of a Mitch. I was like, oh, when I was like 15. So there you go. No, my dad's name is not Mitch. What are the, who are your top three worst kinds of people on the internet? Gamers, weebs, who's the worst? What's the worst? Who, do, who needs to fucking die? And liberal cocks! What have you been doing for quarantine? Setting up businesses, working, and generally a bunch of shit, anything I can get my hands on. 
working on anything I get my hands on. What have you been doing? Why'd you leave us? Every fucking day, every fucking day. I guess I appreciate that. M most people don't get asked what happened. Why, where'd your stuff go? It was funny. So I, thank you. But what have I been doing? I've been surviving. What have you been doing? You know, I make no fucking money on this. I've never made a dollar off this channel. I have like 15 in the Google savings account that they just keep in escrow because I've never hit 100. This channel has never made me money. Mostly because I've never put work into it, but but also because it takes so fucking long, guys, to monetize a YouTube channel. And I know that once, even when I am big, I, I think that's gonna happen. Even when I do get successful, when I find that success, it's not gonna be through ad revenue. I'm never gonna get fucking sponsors. Maybe specific sponsors for specific products, but never ad revenue from Google at large. They're, they're not gonna put anything on my videos. Not unless the whole model changes. Do you have any new ideas that you wanna do for your YouTube channel? Yes, I do. They'll be coming out shortly. There's more bad ads, although I'm changing that because it's mostly focusing on products instead of advertising, because I'm sick of focusing on advertisements solely, because I did that for a job. Um, but yeah, sketch comedy, a lot of it, um, Mixed media and animation. Mixed media is like combining live animation or live footage with animation and a whole bunch of other shit. 3D, uh, short films, whole films. I'm working on two video games. One of them really sucks. One of them's kind of real, like real, like it's happening. Um, yeah, there's a lot of plans for this stuff. I'm not going anywhere. I know I've said that before. So you'll just have to believe me until the next video in a week. Every week. Why is Biden such a dementia riddle? If you follow me on Twitter, Son of a Mitchell, you probably think I'm pretty political. And perhaps I've given off that vibe because these last few years have been insane politically. There's been, a, it's been like a fucking clown show. And something I really want to get away from are politics. Not because I'm necessarily afraid of it, because it's, it's, a, it's an unfunny, poisonous, cancerous cesspit that fucks up everything it touches. And I don't know if it's hurt my reputation or not. I, I don't really give a shit because I have so few fucking followers right now that whatever I get known for later is, is it's gonna get washed away. But politics is shit. I don't vote. I have no stake in this race. I hate Trump. I hate Biden. I hate anyone who's trying to tell me what to do, okay? I hate all of them. I hate state governors. I hate mayors. I hate city boardsmen. I hate city councilmen. I hate fucking, I hate congressmen. I hate senators. I hate the uh, Supreme Court. I hate fucking municipal courts. I hate circuit courts. I hate every fucking branch of our shit government, our bureaucratic nightmare. I hate copyright law. I hate civilian law. I hate financial law. All of this shit is bullshit. I don't have your side. Every, uh, when Trump didn't get reelected, the amount of people that said, oh, are we really fucked her? Oh, we really won this one. Fuck you. I don't think like you. I don't want any of that shit on my plate. I don't give a fuck who's in office. I have never voted as far as I can remember, maybe when I was really young, but I don't think I've ever voted. I'm never going to vote because it's a fucking clown show and I don't give a shit. And I, I'm being a hypocrite here because for the last like year and a half, all I've done on YouTube are make political jokes accidentally because I've been focusing on everything else and nobody gives a shit about what I'm doing with my business on the down low and I can't really reveal all this other shit I'm doing yet. So I'm stepping away from politics entirely. I suggest you do the fucking same. I don't care anymore. I, I care on a personal level of like, oh, I need to make sure my alderman doesn't fuck me over. I need to pay my taxes and shit. Who gives a shit who's president? Like, I, I, I care on some visceral level of like, oh, I want my country to be better. I want my country men to be better. But like, you're gonna get in this fucking street war over fucking alt-right or Antifa or whatever the fuck. Like, keep me out of it. Fucking kill each other off and get the fuck out of my fucking face. I don't care. This, why is Biden such a blah, blah, blah? Why, I, who gives a shit? Who cares? Why is, because you want me to talk about how he's a deep state agent or some shit for 30 minutes? I don't give a shit. If you are articulate enough to understand that, this, that there's a system in play that favors big money, then that's what you need to understand. And if you want to be on top of the system, make big money. That's all you need to fucking understand. I just spit out all my fucking lens that costs more than your house. Don't ask me political questions. I'm gonna stay away from it. That's my promise to you for 2021 as well. I'm done with that shit. I hate it. I might still make jokes about shit, about politicians and shit, but I'm, I'm totally checking out of this shit. I don't know, like, People have fucking opinions of me. People who I think I thought of my right were my fucking friends have these weird ass opinions of me, and it's my fucking fault for the stupid shit I'm tweeting. So, because I'm tweeting about like <laughs> spending your stimulus check on only an AR-15 and five thousand rounds, which is funny. I don't. I, <laughs> but you know, now I'm in trouble. So, no, I don't give a shit. 
Biden, Trump, who cares? Shut up. You really don't have more shit you could be working on? Your life is so fucking cushy, you can worry about the fucking president? You're never gonna meet the fucking president. They're never gonna do anything for you. Stimulus checks gonna happen one way or fucking another. Or it's just not. Did Jews cause 9-11? This is what I'm fucking talking about, guys. God damn. Did Epstein kill himself? This is different, and while I love conspiracy theories, obviously, but I can't say that, so no, clearly he didn't kill himself. Can I get some Mitch Gamer Bath Boy water? On this note, I'm never going to play games on live stream again. I fucking hated it. Not you guys. I don't like being watched playing video games, I found out. I really don't enjoy it. I do plan on returning with live streams. They're gonna be totally different. It's gonna be a weird news show comedy format thing where I interact with you guys. I don't wanna do gaming streams again. For if, I did those for a while on both YouTube and Twitch. If you saw them, hi, great. If you didn't, I understand. Get the, f get the fuck out of my face with politics. I am so sick about it. No, you, all of you guys have such bad opinions on it too. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You spit shit at me all the time. People message me all the fucking time about like, oh, well, Joe Biden's gonna kill my dog. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, Joe Biden thinks about you. Like, Trump thinks about you. <laughs> Jesus. Would you be my brap hog? No, sorry, I'm someone else's brap hog. Show us your feet. No, pay me. I actually am considering starting an OnlyFans where there's no nudity whatsoever. I just act like your father because so many of you are so fucked up. You actually need like a dad, and I think I can make a lot of fucking money off that. Do you have pierced nipples? No, am I retarded? Do I look retarded? Where's the banana wipe? Right here. When will you have that Bloodborne PvP session with your subs? I won't. You'd lose anyway. Do I have bipolar? Do I have bipolar? No. Do you have bipolar? No. You have retard. Why was my mommy wrestling the mailman? Because your dad's dick is small. That's not a question. Opinion on Jake Paul getting raided. But that dates this, doesn't it? Opinion? No opinion. It was ob it was either organized or he did it himself for attention. You're stupid if you're not playing along fast enough. He did it himself. It was a, a thing. They would have found something if it wasn't a thing, by the way. Would you rather time travel back 10 years with your existing knowledge? Knowledgeable? Good one. Or have the power to control the next 10 years and whatever happens afterward will be a byproduct of your will. This is easy. Go back 10 years, invest in Bitcoin. I don't want any fucking responsibility for what's going to happen next. That's not fair. I don't care how much money I could make. If I go back 10 years and take all the money I had 10 years ago and put it into Bitcoin instead of all this other stupid shit I'm doing, I'll just be a fucking hundred billionaire. I, I'll be happy with that. Hundred billionaire at 27? That'd be great. What happened to top 10 trends? I get it. That's what I said what happened. It died. It's not coming back. Don't, you can go watch the new one if you want. I think Matt's trying to revitalize it. I haven't been invited. How has the imprisonment of 2020 been? You know what? Apart from some of the financial stress, 2020 has been one of the best years of my fucking life. More has happened to me because I chose to go out and do shit, uh, sometimes figuratively, figuratively instead of literally because of the lockdowns. I've lost some weight, and what weight I haven't lost, because I'm still a fat shit, I have gained in the gym. I go to the gym very regularly now. I feel great. I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. I took up amateur boxing, amateur weightlifting. Um, I wish I was farther along in both of those. I'm just not. Uh, I'm with some of the best people I've ever met in my life. I'm uh, not just some of the best. I'm with the best people I've ever met in my life. I have the most fucking time to do what I want. My skills are sharp as shit. I, I feel great. If 2020 wasn't good for you, I'm sorry. If it was out of your control, that sucks, dude. I get that. But you could have made it better. And I hope next time when shit's out of your control, you try to seize something as long as it's possible. I'm not saying, you know, you, if a family member died or something, you could have done something about that. I'm saying if you feel like a fat piece of shit and you don't go to the gym, that's why you feel like a fat piece of shit. You should do something about that. Conquer or Mario 64? No, d like I'm gonna devote a single fucking neuron to thinking about that. How are you? New videos every week this year. Might not be on the exact week, but one per week-ish. Short film, comedy, mixed media, animation. Expect to see some other people there. I have some really cool friends I've been working with, some really cool people I'm meeting. You should check out and subscribe to Mammoth in Space. He's ex excellent, he's very funny. You should check out and subscribe to No Carrick. He's excellent, 
very funny. He doesn't need me, he's bigger than me. But uh, you should look at other independent comedians and whatever meager fucking unemployment check you're stealing out of my fucking mouth, you should be giving to them through their Patreon or something. You don't deserve the extra 300 a week. What the fuck are you doing with it? So give it back to someone else who's actually trying to make something. You're fucking unemployed. Bye bye